there welcome back and thanks for joining me all my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below they have links so check that out and if you like this video hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified when new videos come out hit that notification bell and be sure not to forget to hit that like button all right got that out of the way that's the part everybody hates right um but you know you gotta do it so they'll know what what you're doing all right I'm going to do some flowers. I'm going to do a vase. I'm going to hang some flowers hanging down. I just, I saw them lately and they were pleasing. And I think I'm going to try that. Also, the colors I'm using are Poppy Field, Stonewash, Vineyard, and Honeycomb. Only because my granddaughter already had them out on my table from yesterday. And that's how I roll sometimes, just whatever's already out. Now I'm going to try to get this drying in a circular motion. I probably need more ink to do that because you, when you do something like this, you really need a lot of ink. I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. A lot of alcohol or it just kind of dries like that. So let me see if I can redo that. It's a little better. I, I want some type of circles in it. It's okay that it goes over that because now it's just making it more dimensional because you've got flowers in front of other flowers. And I'm holding it where it'll start drying up an edge and it'll create more circle effect to it. Ooh, that's going to be dark. I'll put too much ink. But I want it to kind of be lopsided a little bit because it's on the side. Scoot that over there.
I'm going to make this one, I think, a little darker, or try to anyway, so it may not look just like the blue one it's written up, and in, up against. So I'm going to try to alter it just a little. Even though they're both blue, they're different. Maybe blues. Just one darker than the other. Well, kind of. All right, let's see. Hi, turn it on. <laughs> I got a little excited there. I was like, oh no. I'm about a half inch off the paper, but I'm outside my design. I'm not on top of it until I go to final drying part that it's not moving anymore. I just want to get the center dry. Okay. That was dark. I'm not thrilled, but I want to do this. They all look kind of the same except for that one went crazy dark. Okay, that looks more even. All right, what do I want to do for the base? What color? And I'm going to do those in markers. And I hadn't decided, so let me pick some out. Okay, so these are the colors. I looked at browns, and I just decided no. Um, I wanted fun, so I went with these type colors this one i'm using just to draw some light into it you know to remove some but these are my my colors i'm going with because i want a lot of color on this so that is what i'm doing um i'm going to draw it with my really light one so i can kind of get the shape that i'm wanting so the vase is coming up to here so i just kind of want to do a Kind of a roundy one. Something like maybe that. Something like that. Okay. And we'll take I'll take my dark one, which is 25, this one. So typically, you know, I want my light coming this way where this is my dark because it's underneath the flowers too. I think that'd be fine.
It's going to be a little bit up under there. I'm not a drawer, so we're going to play till it looks good. That's usually how I draw. 714 is the medium next to the next. And I do want this to be PC. I'm not wanting it to be real smooth, but I do want to get some of the colors going in here. That's really a green color. Not sure I'm thrilled with that. So let me just go over a little bit, pull out some of that green. This is cool about these markers. You can keep going over them and they start to blend out. This is more of my medium color. And I want it to go through here. Then, this is, where's my next to the lightest? No, this one. And this is bringing some of that color up in here. Okay, I've got the ink on there. I'm going to go get Q-tip. I'm going to start here because I don't want to rub it here and take all that ink off. I just really want to start blending.
gonna take this. I'm gonna try to hit under here because there should be a shadow up under these. Not dark enough. know what I am good with that um I do want to put some shadow just because I feel like it's gonna need something um, I want a little bit brown my well, browns across the room so we're gonna do some mixing some of this off. I don't want it real dark. <laughs> all right here's where my fun's starting to come in at so i want maybe a few leaves um or maybe i just want some twiggy things i definitely want to do some twiggy things But I think to do a green leaf, I really need to completely change tones and not do a turquoisey. See, would that clash? Ooh. I think that'd be okay in small amounts. I don't want to do anything really big. So I just maybe want... on that order, you know, just to kind of play like there's something there. Let's put one right here. When you're working with markers, go ahead and put your lines in there and let your marker dry on those lines. You can always go in later if they don't stay in there, just to add them. Yeah. 
I really like them afterwards too. That's neat. Let's see. That really does fun after it dries. Can you see this? See how those leaves look? That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like there needs to be something to indicate there's a leaf there. Just to kind of close in some of this area. this leaf bigger. Four squigglies. I think I'm going to do brown so they'll be like the twigs. I've got some dark brown coming. I ordered it the other day because I realized I really wanted a, a cooler brown than this, but I mean, I like this. I just I want it cooler. I tend to work probably a little bit more in cooler colors. Okay, I've got my little end, and we're just going to put them here and there. I, I will have some coming through it. Uh, let's see. Mm, where do I want to start? That's the hardest one. Let's just do something like this. Where I'm gonna put this thing. Okay. Sorry, my camera ran out of memory. Imagine that. that one I kind of put a little back here so it's running over the flower because you want your, your painting to be probably a little believable as far as things overlapping not that they think this is believable but pleasant to the eye let's say balanced 
This one I am taking over this green, and I know it's not showing up, but I am going to have some pieces that go past it, but I want to sh show like it's put in there with the green. And then you can always do this. And these are small enough of a dots, you really can't tell where the, the they're at um, as far as blob. I mean, it just kind of blends in. So these are tiny enough. And that's really the key to this. I am learning. Yeah, these squigglies are my best friend now. And I like the fact that it goes over the green. So it's not just like you're putting things side by side. It's things are coming out from behind it. This still is really plain. Um, I think it probably needs something. Um, I do want to do a leaf. It just needs something bigger. Maybe something on this order. All right, so I know that's pretty dark, and I am going to go in, I think, with maybe my darkest of this and put in some highlights. I'm going to use the point. Maybe go along some of those and see what it does. Now I'm going to use the other side because this is not putting enough down, but I'm going to use the very point of it. I think it brings the tone down just a little bit. I'm going to use a light one, see what it does.
that one's low. It's not doing anything. There we go. That one is. Okay, you may need to do that because see it starts off dark where it's picking up some of this other ink. All right, I think I'm gonna quit there. That was kind of that was that was fun. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go cut this down, and so it's not two or three hours long. And uh, y'all go have fun. Thanks for watching. Okay, add on. <clears throat> After a day or two, um, I kept looking at this and just wasn't loving it. I like that it's off centered, but who puts their flowers in that crooked? I just can't deal. I'm going to put a couple of flowers over here to make it look just like it's off the picture and it's really set up correctly. Um, then these are so solid. I just, I feel there's so much, um, depth here. And these kind of go flat. The leaves even have some depth. So I'm, I'm just, I'm going to mess with the flowers and uh, see if I can't be happy with this. I don't want to redo it. I like it. I just want to change some stuff a little bit. The, the leaves seem really dark for the flowers. And it's not as playful and loose as I wanted because it just, it looks stiff. Um, I want to loosen that up a little bit. So, I'm going to play and see if I can achieve what I'm wanting to or if I just call it quits. And there we go. I still learn stuff. That's the biggest thing. But, um, yeah, I want to do something. So, let me go get to my colors. Okay. Yeah, I sat down and <laughs> nothing planned other than, hmm, I want to work on that. And so, that's... I was unprepared. Um, I'm going to put, I think, a blue here, maybe a purple, and just have it go off like it's just not part of it. Uh, or not part of it, but just going off the paper. I may put a gold one right there. <laughs> Dogs. Oh my god, I need to go out. They have a doggy door, so I'm not sure why they keep yelling. And as I'm drying this, I'm kind of wanting to get like a that corner dry. And then I blow it this way to get that dry. 
and then I'll blow it this way to get this dry, and that way the, the circles will be very uneven and possibly look more like a flower. Um, I've got this in one of my videos, is how to make a rose or how to make a flower, where I do the even circles, something on this order, but then I do the ones that are real lopsided to each other. And it's just a couple ways to do that. It's a lot of fun to play with them and, and learn how to do it. Yeah, I'm going to put some right there. And I think that was butterscotch. If not, it is now. And I want to lighten this up a little bit. Yeah, it's funny. I, I I knew this one wasn't done. I just I wanted to pretend like it was, but it wasn't because it just wasn't. I don't know. You know, we just. You know how you just kind of look at something and go, no, that is not gonna cook like that. Okay, that helps it a lot. Um, yeah, that helps it a whole lot. I want to put some more brown through here. I do want to darken it. I don't want to do a lot of that the same brown. So I am going, where's my plate? Put some black in it. Grabbed all the wrong colors. Like. So I've got the brown and black, and I'm going to kind of put a tad bit of black in my brown. All right, I've got my little stylist here. This is my master I'm using. So, we'll see. Because I think that was, this first brown is um, a lighter. Nah, this is it. So, I am going to put this over here. what this does. Yeah. Just adds a little bit of depth to that. Now the way I've got these mixed, there's the mixture, but if I come over here I get more brown. If I come over here I get more black. At least as of right now, where it hadn't mixed badly yet. Okay. I do like that darker. Got a, a cool brown coming. It was supposed to be here today, but I eh, hadn't gotten it. Yeah, I like that a little bit better, I think, the cooler. Of course, I just like the black. How it does that.
Yeah, I like that tone, how that puts a little bit of a spin on it. Now, I'm not going to do any more yet. Because this is where I want to start removing some of this color and adding some depth to these flowers. Although that helped a lot. Um, okay. We'll put a little alcohol on that. I changed brushes. I got a smaller one. And I'm going to start working on, I got paper towels here. Um, just removing some of this. I want to start with some of my leaves and just kind of work some out. And I had too much alcohol right there, but I'll smear it around. I want to lighten them up a little bit. I don't want them too wet, so I'm blotting it off on my paper towel. I'm hoping that just brings it all kind of the same level. It's nothing that's going to be so much darker than the other. I think that helped. Okay, next. We're going to work on flowers. I wonder if that green will hurt. Let's just not take a chance. I just need a little bit now that I know that. All right, let's start with this one. Um, I'm going to bring a light down because I don't want my shadow. Does that glare it? Yes, it does. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start out here, this dark line here. I think we'll go on the outside of it. Now you could do your black and white markers with this. Um, but I wasn't gonna do anything like that. So this is where I'm this is where I'm at. I'm kind of blending it out. The drier you brush, the little bit better that'll be. And then I'm going to go and do this layer. And there's this one. And you don't always have to do one side or the other, just kind of where you think it looks good. But I kind of started out putting it up against a dark line. I'm indecisive right here, so I'm probably making a mess out of that, but I'm fine with that. Oh, 
would be great. Not turn my notifications off. So hopefully this just little bit will make a difference. Okay. And I, I've not, I mean, I've piddled, but I've not really done this type thing. So I'm having a little bit of fun here. I've done something like it, but not exactly this. Okay, let's go another red one since I've got red in this ink. should have made a circle there so there's not really any lines to follow so what I'm gonna do is just start putting in my shape the way I want it and I'm gonna do one here and you want to stagger them you don't want them all ending in the same spot so if I put one here Then I'm going to start the middle of this one and do this. And then do that. So they're kind of alternating. Yeah, that one looks a little different. I don't like it. Keep messing with it till you do. I don't I want to mess it up a little bit. It's almost too little perfect, so I'm just messing some bent lines up. All right, that's our reds. Okay, let's do the purple. What did I just do? Okay, don't panic. Um, all right, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> Can you? Oh, we may just leave that. All right, it's falling apart. Let me keep working it, let it dry. That's kind of funny. Okay, 
I'm gonna dry it real fast. There we go. Not a disaster. All right, now I'm just gonna go in and do what I was doing. Now, I just realized I've added so much more time onto this. But I still try to leave everything in real time. So if you want, you can zip ahead. I'd rather you make that choice than me and cut something out you wanted to see. This is the painting where you hold your face funny because that's how you art. You know, you, try, you watch these people that hold their mouths funny when they do something intense. <laughs> this is when they do it. So I'm wondering what y'all's faces look like when you do something like this. I'm telling you, I've had cold medicine. I'm just going to say I'm feeling much better. That would have normally cracked me up anyway, but I wouldn't have said it. All right. I'm losing my rhythm. Dip, wipe, wipe, dip. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, tell me what your painted faces are. Might stick my tongue out just barely. Just barely. Not anything ugly, just barely. Remember, they made fun of me in first grade about it. Apparently, I still do it. But I could draw in first grade. I was one of the good artists in first grade. I outlined my stuff like you wouldn't believe. Oh, that's where I got it from. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I outlined back then. That's why I like it so much. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is funny, funny, funny. So, I've always outlined. Perfect. But I did. I was good. I could outline my stuff. It was a brown horse. It got dark brown outline. 
then all their kids copy. There was me and this other boy that colored well. Isn't it funny how you remember that? What brought that up? Makes you wonder if he did art too. Uh, he was kind of smart. He's probably an accountant. Or some business person. Alright, some of these are looking too, like this one's just too much. So I'm going to kind of go in and mess it up a little bit, darken up some of these. Just kind of pull that ink around. Okay, I'm good with that. What do we like? Blue. All right. I'm going to set this. I feel like my hand is just creating this horrible shadow. Okay. Let me see if you got a glare. Good grief. All right, you're about to have nothing. I had a 3% battery, so I'm glad I looked. You are about to be in the dark. Now it might be good to just not be real um, peculiar about lifting. Like that one was really dark. But just to indicate some lifting. See, I like that much better. It's just messed up now. So if that looks like it's got a circle right there, I'm going to mess that up. Um, so yeah. Play with this. Have fun with it. Why is this red? Because that's red. Okay. Where was that? really like that one. That one is just messed, so I like it. It's just messed up. I didn't know this was going to take this long.
much better. I really, really like it. I'm going to go ahead. There's not a lot of color on that, so I'm going to go ahead and do my gold. That looks cool. All right. So that's it. Much, much better. Um, yeah, I do want to lighten this up down here. This gold was really good to end up with. I like it will spread out better too. I like that better. Must have been off. Just must have. Ah. Let's take that out. I'm not going to worry too much about that because it's not going to rain on my parade. In fact, I kind of like the change up of it, sort of, not really. Um, I need a different brush. Where is that? Hmm. I don't know. messing my thing up. Okay. Let's do this. I can't do too much because I'm involving my brown. All right. Okay, I'm gonna stop because I'm making it worse. Oh, cat. All right, I did it again. Okay. 
Okay, stop, stop, stop. All right, I am going to do some more dark. I love these. And I'm going to do a couple. Um... And I like that it mixes with it. So I have a couple of different colors. Well, that looks stupid. There we go. We're going to have to fix that when it didn't blow good. Okay, I'll sit there. Why did that just activate that really well? Okay. We're going to redo that. Don't ever give up. That just didn't show you. Redo. I just can't believe that came up. It must not have been like dried or something. Okay, I think I'm done with whatever damage I'm going to do to it, but I'm done. I do like it much better. I really like the fact that it's just very broken up, very loose. So, yeah, keep, keep working till you like it. All right, now y'all go have fun.